Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to another transmission from yours truly. I go by the name of Claire Audient Truth Speaker. If you are new, welcome, beloveds. I will that the rest the messages uh, resonate with you. I will that whatever uh, confirmations you're seeking, that this reading provides it for you. To each and every one of you beautiful souls that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. You know, I always send you extra love because I love y'all that much. If you are new here, welcome. I go by the name of Claire Audience Truth Speaker. I channel messages intuitively, uh, and I am also Claire Audience. So the way things work on my side of the planet is I do incorporate music and the name of the song, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on this clock. It may all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing and the music and it all just kind of blends very beautifully if I do say so myself. And um, <laughs> so, you know, that's the way things work on my side of the planet. I also uh, am a timeless reader, so whenever this video is popped up in your feed, that was in fact divine timing and in divine order that you have done so. Uh, my spiel here on this channel is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning if it doesn't apply, let it fly by, never try to force anything to be your story. Know that you are more than just your sun sign. So you may want to pull up your natal chart, your chart and check your other placements. See what your Venus is looking like. See what's in your Mercury. See what's in the other houses. See what your ascending sign is, your moon sign. Get familiar with those placements. Get familiar uh, with those other signs. And, you know, check out those v readings accordingly because you may be missing out on some very uh, imperative information. Um, so without further ado, uh, we're going to go ahead, proceed with the read. But before we do, let's go ahead and do some house cleaning, shall we? I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I ask that the energy and vibrations of my cards, I can tap into that energy. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yo. So the time we have on the Klizak, we have 6.32. That breaks down to 11 and it quickly turned to 633. So 632, that 6 and that 5, that breaks down to 11. 11 is justice. So I do feel like a lot of you are definitely uh, getting your just due. Perhaps you've been waiting for some sort of litigations. Uh, maybe you've, you've been waiting for uh, some sort of news. Maybe you're going to court, um, battling some things out. Um, maybe this is a housing situation because I heard housing authority. So I don't know if some of you live in public housing in New York or in any um, locale and you could be kind of going back and forth perhaps with your landlord um, or maybe even with the property manager. I feel like you're going to win that case. Um, with 6-6 six, six, that breaks down to 12 and 12 is the hanged man. Um, the 11 is justice, so I do feel things are going to hand, be handled fairly and justly. It could also, um, you know, uh, it could also like kind of um, insinuate that there could be some, some legal documents that you may be signing at this time. So contracts, paying close attention to what's written in the fine print will be very um, important at this time. Don't just, you know, blindly sign your Jane and John Hancock um, simply because someone's shoving papers in your face. Make sure that 
you proofread it. If you don't understand, understand, overstand what you're reading, take it to, um, you know, get a legal advice, seek legal advice, uh, because I am picking that up for some of you as well, um, that you may need to get, you know, some uh, consult, get a consultation, perhaps with, um, a legal team before you sign anything uh, because there can be something in there that binds you um, to you know contractually uh, I'm also seeing that there is a potential for a connection that could you know kind of elevate to um, a more um, it's, it's more serious I'm picking up like proposals and marriage and I'm seeing someone honeymooning um, you know in a very sunny island uh, you know island-esque type of setting so for some of you maybe you could be having some sort of destination wedding uh, maybe this is something that's impertinent to your past maybe that's something that you've already experienced uh, but I am seeing something pertaining to legal um, you know the need the necessity to seek legal advice uh, so be advised okay um, I'm also feeling like some decisions are needing to be made hence the 12 that we saw with 633 um, because that is the hangman and the hangman is a sacrificial position so perhaps there's more um, there's more time um, required to assess something before you dive in or before you move forward uh, perhaps spirit is giving you the time to kind of look at things from different perspectives get different um, different advice you know maybe seek a second advice third advice uh, before you take action because uh, I do feel like there's a decision that needs to be made with that 11 um, pay attention to your intuition and always um, move with gumption like trust what you're feeling in you know intuitively but also um, what you may be feeling you know in terms of uh, the direction you need to go trust your gumption in that regard because I do feel like this is something that you could potentially get tripped up if you just take action and don't take the necessary precautions this isn't to pump fear I'm not a fear mongerer um, this is just for you to you know as I said um, use at your discretion whatever information affirmation you obtain from anyone outside of yourself um, you know, you never submit your will, not even to me. I am just merely reading cards. I am just really cha uh, merely channeling. Um, but it is up to you to use your own discernment and move and act accordingly to what is best for you. So um, I strongly advise that all the time um, that you never submit your will to anyone. I'm never trying to pump fear or uh, just be out here capping. Um, you know, I really go with the energy. And if you pay attention, uh, which I know most of my folks do, um, you'll notice that my um, my channeled message before I touch the cards always Always, it always comes out in the cards. Whatever I've discussed prior to uh, touching the cards, it will come out um, with the cards, even on down to the card that I called, even on down to those number synchronicities, the energy. So just pay attention. Um, like I said, confirm the information and, and compare it to whatever you're already feeling, but never allow anyone else outside of self to validate you for by any means, Ashe. Um, so yes, yeah, so with that hangman, Taking that time to look at things from a different perspective. Maybe this could be someone looking at you from a different perspective, especially since we saw the 11 and I was picking up on marriage and proposal. Um, so there is a possibility that someone could be seeing you, seeing you in a whole new light. Maybe there's something about you uh, that someone is finding quite charming. I heard the word charming. Um, I'm hearing charismatic. Um, so there is something about you that is just really um it's, it's very attractive at this time. Uh, and I feel this is someone that's been observing you for quite some time. Because when you're in that hangman status, whether this is you or whomever or whatever you're attracting to you, um, that is that is like a sacrificial uh, position, as I said, where um, there is an extended time period while, you know, for you to be in that um, status to, you know, kind of re-examine, um, reassess um, any potential next steps. So I do feel like this is um, a necessary approach uh, for someone uh, before they're taking action to do something because the 12 um, that the hangman card is and represents breaks down to three and three is an action number. When I think of threes, I think of ready, set, go, you know, so someone could be 
be preparing, planning, strategizing um, with this newfound information from their observation or from examining or assessing a situation. Uh, and now they've somehow um, come to some some sort of conclusion that they wish to take action. So I do feel like this is um, some positive movement for it, forward. Maybe there's something manifesting in real time for you that you've been waiting for. I'm hearing anticipation. Um, I'm hearing anticipatory anxiety. So if some of you have been waiting for some news, um, even if that's not from a particular particular person or love interest, maybe this is just in regards to, like I said, um, a legal matter, a legal situation. Um, you're just waiting for that yes, or you're waiting to get uh, approved for something. And I was hearing earlier um, housing authority. So um, perhaps you all are just waiting for the approval, perhaps on, um, you know, the purchase of a home, uh, maybe on an apartment, you know, you're waiting contractually for them to um, move forward with the next steps to doctoring up your lease. Um, but this could also be in relation to love where someone could be taking action towards you. This could even be a job, a potential um, job that is uh, going to reach out and uh, just kind of like, you know, um, extend uh, an invite to interview, to discuss the role or to discuss, um, you know, your, your your potential um, fit in this position. So that's what I'm picking up intuitively uh, with the cards. We're going to see what comes out, of course. Um, but that three is also um, very strongly connected to the Empress energy, even if you're a masculine. Uh, that is a divine feminine, divine masculine energy. So that's a very maternal energy. That is um, someone who births new ideas and ways of thinking. This is a beautiful um, energy also uh, who has reached you know they've reached a level of self mastery uh, so others see you as a leader so others see you um, as a source of inspiration or a wealth of knowledge um, the Emperor and Empress they embody um, all of the attributes and con uh, characteristics of each of the queens, each of the kings. So that is a wealth of knowledge that you possess. So there could be some form of intimidation potentially, which is why someone could be kind of um, planning, preparing, strategizing to come towards you. And that empress and emperor knows their worth. They know their value. So they never settle. They don't have to. Um, so you could be, you know, absolutely attracting uh, someone that's made in your likeness, maybe a suit, uh, because the empress doesn't take too kindly to anyone coming in and wasting her time as she knows her worth and value as does the emperor so this is a very powerful um you know energy that i'm picking up on and now i see six six again that's 12 so six is also um you know, connected to your first eye. So I do feel like spirit is saying, use discernment, trust your intuition. Uh, maybe it's also just in indicating that you are highly sensitive when it comes um, to energy. Maybe you speak energy. Maybe you're picking up on some very powerful energy at this time. You could feel something um, is approaching or you could be potentially, you know, meeting some sort of victory uh, with some sort of um, legal case because that six uh, does speak to victories and success or some sort of major triumph you could be coming into union as well um, with you know a potential um, new career opportunity with a love interest so we're going to see what the cards have to say the six is associated with the lovers um, and that three like I said is associated with that empress energy the divine feminine so let's see what the cards have to say um, let's um, so what's playing on the playlist is we have uh, Fela Kuti so we have Fela Kuti and it says Africa 70 live in Berlin. So some of you can be from Europe. Um, there's definitely uh, someone could definitely be uh, from Africa. Um, what I'm also seeing is I see the word Grin uh, and it says Grin 60 is the name of the channel. Uh, so some of you could be like, I'm hearing someone saying you're going to be grinning or cheesing from ear to ear. Uh, and that 60 does break down to six. And I was just expounding on the number six being associated with the lovers. Um, that also could speak to like some sort of past life um, connection. Maybe this is um, a situation that concerns a past life. Maybe someone that you potentially meet, you'll feel a very strong synergy or chemistry. And it will feel very familiar to you. 
um, with the 60, I'm, I'm definitely getting a sense of like victories. I'm seeing that person on the horse just kind of moving forward. So there's some sort of forward movement. Um, and remember on that card, um, and I'm here and the haters are going to hate. So, you know, you could potentially be having some sort of victory or having some sort of triumphant outcome. And everyone isn't going to be happy for you. Um, you should never expect any, everyone to be happy for you. Um, but there, there's definitely going to be some secret haters or you already can feel that or sense that perhaps and I feel like spirit is just saying use discernment um, and also use discernment with what you share uh, that's been coming out a lot be be very discerning when you're dealing with people especially when it comes to um, you know decisions that you're making within your life um, something that can potentially impact you and your well-being um, definitely take time to meditate and contemplate before you take action because I do feel like there is a potential to be misled there is a potential for you to um, you know um, find yourself being bound to something if you don't take the time to like I said proofread contracts before you just go ahead and sign your Jane and John um, before you take time to like really sit with something and, and, and really observe it and and kind of you know assess it and examine it in any you know in multiple ways um, just coming up with different scenarios that can potentially occur just be mindful um, because there is you know a strong um, indication that you can you know there, there could be something that doesn't work out in the way that you were anticipating again this isn't fear mongering this is just four warnings warning shots all uh, right so um so with that grin 60 and then we have 70 so 60 and 70 um that does reduce to 13 the six and seven uh so you know that 13 is the death so this is really just saying that there's something new um so something has to end in order for something new uh, to take place or in order for you to have a new start the death definitely uh, symbolizes or denotes that you've been through major change transformations or you could potentially be going through some sort of uh, startling metamorphosis at this time uh, so you are emerging uh, someone very different um, and spirit just wants you to uh, be sure to you know to um, to do what you can to um, avoid certain pitfalls especially if it's something as simple as just like sitting with something before you take action or proofreading something before you sign it um, seeking that second and third opinion before you you know you go in for whatever that procedure or before you sign your name whatever it may be so just be mindful um, to follow your gumption use your intuition the 13 does break down to four to the four which is your heart chakra so you know always trust what you're feeling you know your heart chakra uh, just speaks to the emotional intelligence um, that you have so you know always have that consultation with your higher self um, you know but also realize that you have um, the ability to make this decision uh, the four also can be speaking to social IQ so observe 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 your surroundings uh, Shay so that's just what I'm picking up intuitively let's see what the cards have to say I like to start off with the numerology deck uh, so let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck so look at that beautiful energy I love when a happy ending is how you start the reading so this is beautiful sunny card um, there's 93 so that 93 is 12 remember we saw 633 um, when we started the reading and that was the 12 that we saw so we initially started with 632 and then we it changed as I was showing you 633 so the three um, you know that 12 that this 93 breaks down to is absolutely saying um, when you meditate to get things straight everything will work out in your favor and you will have a happy outcome so there is some sort of clarity or some sort of illumination or some sort of epiphanous moment that could take place simply by just taking the time to get it right so not rushing into action not feeling like you have to rush even if someone is pressing you and making you feel you know obligated to making a decision now trust and believe that you can do things on your own accord unless someone is saying well you know there's a time limit uh, especially like if this is impertinence because I was picking up to with um, the energy of someone who could potentially be purchasing a home so there could be other offers so in that scenario of course you don't want to just sit on something and then miss out on an opportunity but you absolutely 
uh, should get second and third opinions if you're stumped or get someone to read through uh, the fine print to make sure that you're not like, you know, just, you know, um, investing in a money pit. You know what I'm talking about? So this happy ending is definitely um, assuring you that you will um, have things working out in your favor as I was initially picking up with that um 632 which was the 11 um the justice so i do feel like things are working out fairly and justly for you um we also have look at this we got um this beautiful energy of the three which is the empress i was expounding on earlier so both of these cards are yellow and yellow uh is associated with the solar plexus and as i said you know when you are making decisions make sure you go with you know how things sit and feel in your spirit um so use gumption you know your your stomach and your brain are you know very connected so if it doesn't feel right sit right in your spirit then you shouldn't do it but if you do feel like you can trust the situation, then you move forward accordingly. Um, this 93 and this 3 breaks down to 6, and 6 is your first eye. So use your first eye to see. Use your first eye to navigate you through a certain situation. Um, and definitely consult with your higher self. I do see victories. I do see things uh, triumphantly. Uh, happening for you moving forward rapidly I also see no, like new partnerships new unions so if you were um, waiting for a potential you know job I do feel like this new environment is going to be positive it's lighter it's stress-free um, people are more humble here I don't feel there's drama you know how sometimes there's office drama and people just constantly talking behind people back or trying to sabotage or trying to undermine it's none of that I just feel like this new environment is just bringing so much peace It's just bringing like a lighter energy and you just feel you know like you're not even working at this point like because you enjoy what you're doing it's not overwhelming you don't feel like you're being taken advantage of so you don't mind putting in that extra time you don't mind doing your job when you feel like there's a reward or you feel like there are incentives so this is beautiful energy that three also is you know strongly indicating that there's been a lot of um like growth you know you've definitely hit some milestones i'm seeing where you know you've really been kind of working on the self um you know working through your own process of healing uh because i do feel like there was a lot of um you know a lot of of painful um occurrences that may have happened in your life maybe even from childhood all the way up to adulthood um you could have had a very um estranged relationship with family or maybe you know you've been you know kind of like that um black sheep or you know white sheep of the family or whatever you may call it um but you've worked through all of that and i feel like you've gained an understanding where you don't hold on to any type of resentments because you've uncovered that you know hurt people hurt people um and more importantly i feel like you were healing uh some past life um, circumstances like you've been really working on uh, whether it's breaking generational curses or healing from past life wounds and traumas or even current life traumas that's what your focus has been and I feel you've absolutely uh, turned that pain um, into power so you've been a powerful alchemist in your own life by tapping into your alchemical force so this is why you're assured this happy ending because you've done the work to you know to obtain um this happiness the next song we have playing right now who is this um so we have Thelonious Monk so some of you uh could love um jazz music um but I'm also getting a sense of you all being kind of like hermits you know um and this has kind of shaped you into becoming the sages that you are um you're like very spiritually strong um, you have had some sort of spiritual awakening uh, during your journey. So you are very, um, you have a beautiful connection with yourself. Um, you're not seeking validation from external forces um, any longer. I feel like if, uh, because I'm picking up, I heard the word any longer. So I feel like some of you um, absolutely 
uh, were dealing with self-esteem issues um, in the past where uh, other people you felt validated by either the attention other people gave you the love um, that you felt um, you needed from out external forces um, which means that there was an imbalance uh, for your own self-love and I feel now that there is um, through your efforts through you taking the necessary time by kind of separating yourself from the outside noise taking that time that pause to kind of assess your internal, um, you were able to discover that you had to love you first and foremost, as that is an inside job. And in this monk state, you know, um, you were really able to uh, make a strong connection spiritually, whether it's with your spirit team, angels, you may have very strong connection with Archangel Michael. Today is his day. Um, I'm also feeling like Archangel Raphael was very, um, present in helping you to heal as well especially the heart you know i feel like some of you could have uh had a broken heart um maybe some of you lost a loved one and that was like that broke your heart and i know in the past um even just hearing people's stories who have been together for like 40, 50 years where, you know, uh, someone in the partnership will transition into the spirit realm. And then shortly thereafter, their partner will um, transition as well because they um, of a broken heart. Like, you know, they, 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 they you know, died or they met their demise uh, from a broken heart. So I feel like some of you really uh, suffered um heartbreak you know um and really i'm hearing excruciating like it was excru excruciating so even if this isn't in, in correlation to a love partnership this could just be the loss of a, a family member you know i'm getting a strong abuelita i'm hearing abuelita so some of you could have lost your grandmothers um i'm also feeling like some of you may have lost like your grandfather someone who raised you someone who really um instilled in you morals values um those core values they taught you uh how to be the woman or how to be the man that you are now they taught you that attentiveness um they taught you um how to be loving and nurturing as well uh because that's what you received so i feel like you know through your own assessment and through navigating your own trauma you were able to identify um perhaps where you were not uh, showing up for yourself so prioritizing you now is more of your focus which is beautiful because you can't love anyone else until you love yourself so this 14 moderation is just confirming um the changes you know that you had to make but more importantly that it was all a matter of divine timing um that you had to um you know start utilizing you know your um you know your your you know, start, start not utilizing, but, you know, you, you, you had to take that time to make those necessary changes. So, you know, really expressing more, um, not backing down. Um, maybe some of you were kind of mute or just silent. You suffered in silence um, just to avoid arguments or just to avoid um, debating with someone because it could have been very tiresome or stressful. Um, it could have, ex you know, kind of accelerated even. So just to avoid the disagreements um you could have just kind of gone silent and didn't really uh you know advocate or stand up for yourself but now um you know in this 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 uh you know in this phase and junction of your life um you're more communicative that's something that positively changed for you and i feel the more you started to speak up for yourself advocate for yourself um the more healing you were able to do because you were being honest with yourself ultimately. So this 14 divine timing um, is just, you know, really, uh, really just saying that you all took the necessary time, uh, you know, to really work on the self. And that 14 does break down to five, which is why I was feeling like you found your voice perhaps, um, you know, during this time of pause. Um, and I'm also feeling with that five, uh, whatever challenges and obstacles you were dealing with, even if there were other competitive um, energies around you, um, you were able to observe that. I feel like you were able to observe, you were able to um, detach from those type of unhealthy uh, dynamics. So that, that was very necessary. Moderations is just another way to, you know, really... Um, define 
the changes, you know, or describe the changes you've been through. And we have 87 synchronicity here. So this is five. And then this 87, that breaks down to 15, that's six. So this is another 13. So that's why you have had some sort of death, death of the old, so that you can have this new um, version of yourself emerge. So this is a powerful energy of you know transformation and rebirth so this is beautiful so of course there were times you know with that monk i was picking up that you kind of went into hermit mode um and and this is how you were able to kind of really work on you know your spiritual uh prowess as well you could have gotten uh you know had you know developed a more strong a stronger i should say a relationship with your spirit team spirit guides um deities um, ancestors, you could have started, um, you know, building altars in your home, um, you know, just to to give offerings, and and that could have strengthened the relationship uh, between you and your your spirit team. So that's beautiful energy. So let's happen to see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively, beloved. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Beautiful spirit. Thank you so much. See that there are going to be some wishes that are coming true. That could be the reason why that happy ending was on the bottom of the deck. Because you could have some wish fulfillment, answered prayers, some blessings. And these are all unexpected. One more time. I heard spirits say one more again. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. And we have 61 self-love. So this is exactly what I was saying. You cannot love anyone until you love yourself. And that's why you had to, you know, do this work. That seven reduces, I mean, that 61 reduces to seven. And that is the, associated with the crown, but it's also associated with the chariot in traditional tarot. Uh, so that does show that there is some sort of... Um, you know, like a positive outcome. I feel like because you love yourself, you're more attractive. Um, Self-love is very attractive. Self-love is also, you know, a way for you to show uh, or teach other people how to treat you. So I do feel like this is a lesson that you've learned because the seven deals with the crown and the crown is your, 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 um, that just shows personal growth. Like you're more susceptible to trusting your intuition now, more susceptible to using discernment before you take action. I do feel like this love of self, um, is really just like, you're just exuding, um, this love, this, 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 self-love, self-worth, and self-value, uh, which makes you more attractive um, in the eyes of others that could potentially be watching. Um, there could also be some folks that could be kind of lingering because uh, I am seeing the Seven of Swords in my mind's eye. So just be mindful. Um, and I'm also seeing the Seven of Cups. So there could be some decisions, choices um, that you're going to have to make. So this could just be really... Uh, strongly echoing what I said already in terms of trusting your intuition and using discernment and going with your gumption when you make decisions. Trust what you're feeling um, in your gut because that will never lead you astray. Um, the next song we have playing on the playlist is we have, who is this? This is A Land of Fruit and Honey. I love the way that sounds. And this is by Roy Ayers. And this was um, done in 1981. So this 1981 reduces to one. So new beginnings. So the land of fruit and honey, uh, that's what you are um, definitely coming into, is some sort of powerful new beginning um, that is going to be very fruitful. It's going to bring about some sort of positive change. Uh, fruit and honey is just another way to say that you're going to have um, blessings and rewards that's coming straight from from source. And this is based off the seeds that you've sowed in the past. So I'm seeing like, um, you know, as I said earlier, like some sort of triumphant outcome. Um, that one definitely denotes uh, positive movements forward and action. So something is moving forwards. You're taking action in a new direction. And I just feel like ultimately you're on the precipice of something new. Um, and someone you're dealing with could be named Roy um, or Ayers. I'm, I'm, I'm getting with Ayers. I'm hearing air sign. Um, if that's not an air sign, I do feel like communication uh, could also be coming in. So some communication that you've been waiting for or anticipating is 
coming in and it's it's like we're in the money like i'm hearing that in my mind's eye because fruit and honey just denotes um prosperity abundance um you know blossoming abundance so that's a beautiful energy someone's name also could be c j um i see the initials the the, the channel uh so someone's name could be c j um First, middle, or last, someone's life path number could be number one. Someone could be born um, on October 28th or November 1st, November 11th, um, November uh, 10th um, as well. Because the ones I'm picking up, someone could have been born in 1981. Um, I'm definitely getting a sense of like, even with that one that deals with the root chakra. So I do feel like a lot of you have gotten to the root cause of where your trauma comes from or where the trauma bonding began. It could have begun, you know, like I said, in a former lifetime and you've been breaking those chains, hexes and yokes or, you know, kind of detaching from that energy just through your own spiritual work and journey. Um, but the seven also, like I said, is just showing that now you have a stronger sense of self-love, self-worth and self-value, which is a positive sign of you actually doing the work because you've taken you know that time to work from the root chakra all the way up to your crown so that means that that's that level of self-mastery that you've reached where you have a deeper more profound understanding omni-standing overstanding of yourself so that's a beautiful energy so on the bottom of the deck we have 48 financial discipline and we're about to pull the card for who or what you're attracting to you and this breaks down to 12 as well and so you could be kind of, like I said, kind of strategizing some new ways um, to perhaps um, bring in more money, whether that be uh, passive income, um, multiple streams of income. Maybe you're thinking about starting a business. Maybe you're thinking about, um, you know, changing careers, going back to school, or maybe you're just simply budgeting, working on your credit um, because you have some sort of long-term goals. Either way, I feel like it's going to um, be very successful. Whatever you're planning and preparing or whomever, whomever you're collaborating with, it leads to a victory because uh, I always get like the three of pentacles, which means like a collaboration collaborative effort and if you're collaborating with another person then that means that there is an equal exchange of give and take um, and hence like I said land of milk and honey so some of you all or fruit and honey pardon me um, so some of you all uh, something is going to be fruitful um, if this is you working on some of your own um, creative projects ideas um, you know, business projects. Um, I feel like it's going to be fruitful. I feel like you're going to see progress. I feel like there is going to be some sort of return on all of the hard work and effort that you've put forth. Um, this is what you're attracting to you. So the seeds that you've planted in good faith, they will harvest and they will flourish um, and things will become fruitful for you. Um, and I feel like it's, you're, I'm hearing magnetism. So you are attracting these things because of the energy that you exude and vibrate. Um, when you work on yourself, it's like your vibration, it, 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 um, it increases like it, it it becomes higher and so you're attracting at this time everything that you desire perhaps um, I just saw um, well no well, well, well because it's it's already too far but I did see that 3737 um, but I was so deep in my build I didn't want to stop what I was saying so divine spirit of peace pound protection what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit what messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we have 33 communication. So remember, we did see 633. There's 33. That's the first eye again. Uh, but there is a, a conversation that's taken place. Perhaps someone could be communicating with you telepathically or intuitively. Um, and it's very important for you to trust your intuition. Um to, to, to discern whether or not you can trust the communication that is being um that is being um, disseminated or um, communicated to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was uh, there was another word I was looking for, but it was going to take too long for me to get it. So, but yeah, so it, it just feels like this is even speaking to like communication via your dreams. Um, you could be getting or having very vivid dreams, lucid dreams. Maybe you're astral traveling. Maybe you wake up in the, you know, during the witching hours. Um, there's something being communicated to you. Perhaps there is, um, 
like I said, just simply, um, you will receive some news about something that's going to make you feel happy because this is uh, a yellow card. And I do feel like that yellow just, you know, it's it's correlated with that, that solar plexus. Um, that's why I'm telling you, trust your intuition, use discernment. But I'm also seeing the sun. You know, the sun always really um, denotes that there's some sort of new beginning. You're dawning, there's the dawning of a new day, or there's uh, some sort of epiphanous moment or some sort of a luminous uh, moment moment that you will, um, you know, feel very invigorated or excited or very happy. Um, and right underneath that is the 10. So, you know, maybe this news is why or how you're able to complete some sort of cycle uh, where, you know, you were perhaps kind of trapped um, in, a, in, a, in a state of fear or kind of worrying or, um, you know, just kind of like um, really just, um, you know, in a, a very... Um, What's that I'm trying to say? You know, just ruminating or, or kind of pining on a specific outcome. But I feel this this news is good news. I feel like this is, again, just message of, you know, a, a victory or something happening triumphantly for you. The card that actually flew out is you have 63 parenting. So for some of you all, I do feel like that is your focal point. Um, you are very, very attentive uh, parents, mothers, um, fathers. Um, this also could be just kind of insinuating that you've been having to heal from um uh, your mommy and daddy issues um, and in your healing from those um, circumstances this is why you are now um, having some sort of new beginning so with the 61 which is seven and the 63 that's nine this is still seven so I am seeing like there's still victory because the seven reduces to I mean the um, you know these cards reduce to seven because the 63 is 9 and the 61 is 7. So anything going into the number 9 is always that number. Um, we have Jill Scott singing Easy Conversation. So remember what I said about... Wait, let me show you. There it is. I don't know why this is showing like that. Oh, there we go. So Jill Scott. Someone's name could be Jill or Scott. Someone could be from Philly. Um, but with Easy Conversation, I do feel like, you know, with the communication card that there is going to be a conversation that just flows. This could be a potential person that you know from your past, or as I was picking up earlier before we touched the cards, that potentially you could be meeting someone that you will have that synergy and chemistry with, and you will feel like this is a very familiar energy to you, and it's because the conversation is very easy. Um, you feel like it just flows. You feel like um, you share a lot in common with this person, um, a lot of similarities. So that's what makes it a very easy um, conversation. So that's beautiful. Perhaps things, if you have been having some sort of... Um, challenges with the mother or father of your child or even your own mother and father I feel like you know just approaching it from the standpoint of you know just um, simple conversation checking in how are you um, just to rebuild um, you know that that rapport um, and to strengthen the rela relationship instead of just going and diving right into those tough conversations perhaps just reconnecting on a human level you know um, just checking in with the person and checking the temperature opposed to constantly just bickering and arguing and fighting um, because I think that when you approach it from that standpoint um, that could just make things um, easier for not only yourself but for um, the connection as a whole because regardless um, if you do have some sort of conflicting relationship with the mother or father of your child or even your own umi or father or baba um, it's very important to repair those relationships and I'm not saying repair and open up your arms and be at their disposal um, and go back to the person that you have just um, you know transformed from but just just starting at one again and and rebuilding as I said earlier that rapport it can absolutely lead to a, a more healthier dynamic which is going to be uh, more beneficial for the children that you may have together as well so let's tap in and see how this person feels about you that you're attracting to you so that 63 parenting like I said that could be the mother or father to your own child or children or this could be your mother or father so divine spirit of peace power and protection if you don't have um, either parents whomever raised you as their own um, it doesn't have to be like your biological mother or father but whomever was in that role as um, 
you know, your caretaker, your, your, you know, the nurturer, your matriarch, the, the maternal or paternal um, figure in your life. That is the person um, that I am referring to in terms of your mother or father. If that does not apply, this could be the mother or father to your child. Um, if you have a mother or father in the spirit realm, they are definitely uh, responsible for helping you to, you know, heal through some pain. Um, four, 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 four. So that's confirmation that your angels or your spirit team, your guides, your ancestors, they have been definitely um, supporting you. They've been supporting you as you have been, you know, learning to love thyself. Um, you know, and you can only love thyself and reach this level of, you know, self love when you heal thyself. So when you heal thyself, you learn to love thyself. And that's when you can detach from anything that no longer serves you, whether it's people, places, or things. So let's see. How does this person, I love Scorpios, look? Happy ending is here. So someone feels happy, invigorated. Didn't I say that someone definitely feels like you're like just a ray of sunshine or you're, you're just very attractive or you're very wise or you're a source of inspiration. Someone could be observing you from a distance. We have freeway, all right, um, playing. And I just, oh, goodness, let me go back. There it is. So freeway, um, all right is playing. So again, someone could be from Philly. Um, I do feel like this person um, is feeling better about approaching you, especially with this happy ending. Because that 93, remember we opened up the reading with 93. So how they're feeling about you from their observation, from looking at things from a different perspective, is they feel all right. They feel like they can do this. They feel like they can approach you. Um, they're feeling all right about the connection even. Um, so divine spirit. Someone's name could be Dre because I'm seeing Dre for the channel name. Someone's name could be Dre as well. Uh, Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection. What messages? How does this person, our beloved Scorpios, are tracking to them feel about Scorpio? Let me get a message of Peace, Power, and Protection, Spirit. And if you are new here, I am the mother of deep dives. I don't do 20-minute readings. Um, I like to dig deep, dive deep. So we have follow your dreams. So they may see you as a wish fulfillment. Um, you know, like a dream come true. You could be someone that they've prayed for. Um, I also feel like if this is your energy, because this is the card that's on the bottom of the deck when we pull what's hidden in the energy. So I do feel like, as I said earlier, a triumphant outcome, a wish fulfillment, an answered prayer um, could definitely be in your near future. Um, because I do feel like there's been uh, some major transformations and changes that have occurred. So what did we say about transformation? and then bam rebirth is here so how someone feels about you if you you're definitely um someone who has emerged uh, as a different person so i get a strong sense of this person being very familiar with you maybe this is someone from your past um someone that you've known maybe you know this isn't someone that you were in a relationship with per se um even if this is someone from your past they are acknowledging um, your transformation um, and and they see that you're doing all right um, you know even you know if you have separated from a person um, they see you're doing all right you're taking care of yourself I see another six love so someone is definitely falling in love with the person that you have um, become this person um, absolutely may have uh, you know they may not have appreciated you or or um, valued you, uh, but they're now seeing things from a different perspective because this seven and the six still is thirteen. So your transformation and you, you know, transforming into your best version of yourself has, uh, you know, given someone some different perspective. They're kind of looking at you differently. They're looking at you um, with admiration and adoration, um, and ultimately love. You know, with the six, that's the lovers, um, and it's also associated with the six of wands the victory that i was seeing so they see you having some sort of victorious outcome or that you're just kind of moving to the beat of your own drum you're doing things your own way like you have um you know kind of like just you you've made the necessary changes uh which now um it just it just speaks to you being your authentic self you know you're no longer um you know, silent or suffering in silence. You're no longer quiet or mute or avoiding conversations, tough conversations. You're, you're showing up as who you are. This is the transformation that you've made. And this new version of you, although it may be very inti um, intimidating, um, it, it's more inspiring and attractive than anything. Um, and, and this is something that they are... They admire. It's like there's there's admiration there. 
um, for your efforts because they could definitely see the change. And we have the 61 and 16 here. So the self-love, as I was saying earlier, you going through enormous pain, you having to heal from a broken heart or, you know, going through that because I was hearing the word excruciating earlier. And that's how you are now in the space of, you know, rebirth because you've learned to love yourself. That was a part of the process. That was a part of the healing that you've had to do. So, you know, healing from heartache and loss and then recovering from that through, you know, taking that time to do that internal internal work is now why you are someone who is, you know, transformed and emerged, someone completely different from who you may have presented in the past. And that's powerful. So on the bottom of the deck, we still have that 85, another um, number, 8513, which speaks to transformation. So from your transformation, I feel you're being rewarded. There's a reward that's going to um, lead to some sort of... Um, victory some positive emotions for you um because you're following your dreams you're moving to the beat of your drum and you're prioritizing you as i said earlier and that's what you learned um in this journey you know on your spiritual quest thank you spirit so that's what's hidden in the energy thank you and we have leadership so this leadership is the energy for when we pull the card for outcome and this is who you have uh transformed into and we have Big Daddy. <laughs> so for some of you masculines, you've transformed into your divine masculine energy. Um, and you are someone who, you know, um, others look at you as someone very devoted, a protector, a provider. When you think of Big Daddy, that's like a father. Um, heavy D. Some of you could be from New Rochelle or Yonkers, upstate New York. Um uh, someone's name could be D. Someone could have been heavy in the past, and I fit, I just see someone kind of in the gym working out, tr you know, running, um, you know, on a trail, swimming. Like I see someone really making the effort to transform perhaps their their body, their physical body, uh, because as I said earlier, maybe someone had or was struggling with self esteem issues. So someone really did the necessary work to transform, um, you know, both internally and externally, and. Um, it's just a very, um, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's something that you should be proud of because it's not easy. Like I could hear people like grunting, like, oh, you know, like, you know, like it was painful, but like you've lost a lot of weight. I'm seeing the number 30. So I don't know if some of you um, when you turn 30, that was a decision you made or maybe you've lost, you know, 30 pounds of waste. Um but number 30, I don't know, maybe some of you were born on the 30th or the third day, maybe your life path number three, or maybe you are 30 years young. Um, but I do feel like because you've turned 30, maybe you made this decision to lose the waste, you know, start taking care of you, prioritizing you and taking um taking your life back ultimately so the card that flew out we got eight manifestation so how someone feels about you is you're a master manifester like you know how to tap into our alchemical force and co-create with source um set intention to manifest your desired outcome um they may have you know seen you uh really you know remaining optimistic and hopeful even through those dark times dark periods like you were able to you know tap into your uh, divinity as that divine feminine divine masculine to master manifest whatever it is you desire um in this eight universal year uh perhaps you've manifested some things um or something is coming in that you've manifested quickly so they can see you as some high priest or high priestess or someone who's very magical or very um connected like like i was saying earlier like you built uh, your spiritual prowess so you have um, a very sh uh, strong spiritual sense um, because you've really worked on yourself as you were in that hermit or monk mode um, really connecting with your angels your guides your spirit team developing that rapport that relationship um, with your your ancestors by you know creating altars and giving offerings and and really building that connection and I feel like that's ultimately what also strengthen your ability um, to manifest um, very quickly I also feel like um, perhaps this is someone who sees you as very strong as well um, you're an asset to this person not a liability at all like this person has love in their heart this is an all pink card which associates with the heart chakra um, so I do feel like this is someone who could be trying to muster up the strength to approach you because I was getting someone who could have potentially been a little intimidated by you. Um, and if you are someone who presents very differently than me, maybe this person 
can recall or remember um, you being, um, that could be intimidating because it's like, it's almost like you got to rebuild that connection um, with this person. And as I said, sometimes you got to take things, um, you know, start back at one. Um, if this is someone that's new, um, this is someone that's absolutely uh, looking at you as a wish fulfillment because that eight always associates to me as a wish fulfillment as a you know like the star card because that 17 the star card breaks down to eight so I do see them looking at you as someone who is a star you know like you have a twinkle in your eye or you have some sort of passion um, like you're going to reach a goal that you set out for yourself because you don't take no for an answer you don't just you know you don't settle and so this is someone that can see you as someone who is very powerful at manifesting whatever you want, as setting an intention. If you said something, you know, maybe this person can recall a conversation you may have had with them in the past where you said, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And then they're kind of checking in and they see that you've accomplished those things. So this is why they see you as someone who is a master manifester, perhaps um, someone who's very strong, you know, spiritually as well. And with this 81 leadership here for the outcome, I definitely see them see you as a boss so maybe you've bossed up in some way and as I said you've taken onus or you've taken the reins I should say and just kind of took control of your life and the direction in which you wish to go and you're no longer just kind of appeasing and pleasing and going along to get along like you're now doing what you feel is best for you and prioritizing you so that's beautiful so what is the outcome and whenever you are in that energy it's very tra attractive you know people are attracted to bosses you know because that they give you an ins that, that inspiration you know they give you something to work towards so these two cards are literally like falling out so i'm gonna take those for your messages and we have nine nine compassion so when you show compassion to others that's not judging the other person and that's also forgiveness um forgiveness is always for you that's not for the other person because the sooner you can forgive the sooner you can release and let go of any emotional uh ties or anything that could potentially be anchoring you whether it be resentments or animosity or anger or frustration or hatred or whatever the moment you forgive that person the moment is the moment you free yourself so i feel like that's why spirit is reminding you and with this non non compassion i feel like that's the energy that you and the person you're attracting or what you're attracting is going to feel towards each other even if this is in a new environment where you're working with other people they're gonna you're gonna be around people who show humility who are compassionate about what they do who are fellow empaths who um you know can feel the pain of other people and they consider that they don't just try to capitalize on it or um you know take advantage like this is this is another like-minded individual so this is a very powerful energy and we have method man i'll be there for you um so this is the puff daddy remix um and it says you're all that i need so whomever or whatever you're attracting to you um that's why this nine nine compassion because there's no judgment regardless of what you come from regardless of whatever trauma regardless of whatever experience you've had in the past this person is not going to judge you and vice versa you're going to accept one another as is the cards that flew out for the outcome you have spiritual career so many of you are preparing like i said um to perhaps um launch a business because I was picking up earlier with that financial discipline card that some of you all could be coming into some sort of collaborative partnerships uh, and it looks like it's going to be very lucrative because this 15 breaks down to six but I also see that there's um, some of you could be workaholics like because you just want to see this outcome but you love what you do so like I was saying um, I don't feel like this is something that is like daunting or like you're just like you, you, you don't look forward to doing this. This is something that you love. This is something you're passionate um, in and, and you're really good at. And so this will be successful. This is going to bring success because the 15 breaks down to six. And I was seeing the victorious, you know, card with the six of wands where the person is riding. Um, everyone isn't going to be happy for you. That 15 is associated with the devil. Um, this could also speak to, you know, just very envious energy or jealous envy um, energy or people who are comparing themselves to you or people who feel um you know like you know perhaps like you are you know you're successful and and maybe they're not and these are people who could be secret comp, comp secret competition so just be mindful because I, I i do feel like regardless there's success um but just be reminded be mindful um who you're sharing um those deets with who you're sharing um your good news with because i feel like um you know, someone may not be as happy for you as they um, may 
you know, as they may come off. So the next card we have is financial discipline. So that's another um, energy. So you are coming into some very powerful partnerships, very collaborative uh, partnerships where, like I said earlier, equal give and take. Like wh what you're putting into this business, um, this other party is going to um, also, you know, match that energy. So this is beautiful energy because I feel like this is just confirming that there is success. Uh, remember we saw that card that said um, fruit and honey and I was saying that things are going to be fruitful and if you were working on business endeavors that you know there is going to be um, you know this energy of things being very prosperous or you having blossoming abundance and this just confirms that um, I feel like you know this is also saying yesterday was the 9-9 portal uh, perhaps this is where um, you know that activation of compassion and healing took place because nines do deal with um, you know that hermit energy where you are taking the time to do those internal self audits and maybe this is something that you may have discovered through your observation and examination um, that you needed to not judge a situation or that you needed to be more forgiving of someone in a circumstance uh, and that immediately um, broke you free uh, from any attachments that could have potentially been binding you so that's a, a very powerful energy um, so that 9 9 is definitely showing me um, that some of you all were doing some very intentional um, meditations yesterday perhaps um, you could have been you know really doing some uh, intentional um, you know work just to kind of get through uh, you know some of the um, some of that energy you know some of the the uh, some of that trauma um, that you were you know healing from so that's powerful so divine spirit let's get some messages Oop, I almost lost a card from energy oracle I was gonna pull from the witch's wisdom um, but spirit told me to pull from my energy oracle instead which is why I did that and look oh my I see why I love this I love it because this is like the uh, double confirmation that happy, you know, you're having some sort of happy ending or you're coming into a happier um, time in your life. This is the door to personal healing and happiness. And if you look there, there's a dove which speaks to rebirth, you know, transformation. There's a rainbow which speaks to beautiful news. You know, this is beautiful energy. This is a beautiful card because spirit is opening this door. So there are opportunities for for. As I said, your healing that you've done has catapulted you, um, you know, forward. And this has also opened up, uh, you know, a lot of door to victory and success for you because you've done the necessary work. As I said, you can't love yourself until you heal thyself. And with this door to personal healing and happiness, that just speaks to the healing work that you've done, which is why you're now, um, you know, coming into this, this more opportune time for yourself. So we have on the bottom of the, um, I mean, on the split part of me is we have the 53, is that 50? Yeah, 53. And then we have 34. So that eight and seven, that's the same number that we just broke down. So you are the alchemist. You are tapping into your alchemical force. You know, you're tapping into your eye imagination. You could be doing visualizations. You could be scribing in your, you know, manifestation journals. Or you could just literally be doing magic. I could do magic. I could do magic. You could be on your Cambada-ish. You know, like literally tapping into your, um, you know, divinity as that divine feminine, divine masculine. And manifesting something because that's how you are perceived. So someone is watching very closely. And as I said, they can like point out a couple of things that you've been able to manifest since the departure or since you all have lost connection. Or maybe this is just someone who will come into your life and notice that you have a very powerful ability to speak your words and intentions into the universe source, into the ethers. And you got a rapid turnaround time. So this is very powerful. But you've manifested some sort of spiritual, um, you know, um, some sort of change, um, which resulted in the door to personal healing and happiness. And this just shows the work, the effort, you know, um, you knowing your power, you knowing you possess the power. As I said earlier, when you are in that divine feminine, divine masculine energy, um, you reach the level of self mastery, um, which speaks to your ability to co-create with source. So you know how to tap into, you know, water, fire, earth, air, and ether to manifest your desired outcome. Um, we have ice cube and then we have no Vaseline. 
um and that's it, it says death row when i saw ice cube i feel like you know that spirit saying spirit was kind of you know immediately i heard someone was treating you icy so someone was very cold towards you and this was kind of like the the straw that broke the camel's back or this is what led ultimately to your spiritual evolution if you will um with no vaseline that is just another term for you got upped you know what i'm saying you got upped like you know someone really did you dirty um and they they didn't use any type of lube you know they just did it raw dog and and and, and it was painful because i was hearing excruciating um i also am getting you know and uh you know this 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 may be um oh man so I'm, I'm getting a scenario where I'm, I'm picking up like a masculine um, that could have uh, been violated. I don't know if this is like as a child, um, but then I'm also picking up that someone could have spent some time um, incarcerated and could have been violated by someone. Um, so I, I do, you know, I, I'm, I'm sending love to you because I am I'm picking that up. That could be a very... Um, unique situation may not apply to everyone but I, I didn't even want to say it but spirit was like say it because someone may need to hear um, hear that uh, because this is a message for you so whomever that is this is um, spirit wants you to know that they they're with you they want you to definitely um, you know give yourself the credit because you did do the necessary work to heal um, so you know if that does apply I'm sending you infinite love and light. I'm definitely sending you some healing energy, you know, because that I don't wish that on anyone. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let's go ahead and clarify these messages. Clarify these messages, spirit. Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What's coming in from the love, Scorpio? And I saw that heartbreak card. And I saw you got somebody that's uh, and there goes the indecision card. So that's why I was picking up the need to trust your intuition, use discernment before making any type of decisions. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection, what messages do you have? I love Scorpios. I'm going to clarify these messages. Thank you, spirit. And one more I heard. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. And we have the moon, goddess of the moon. So that was the work you did. You did this 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 uh, healing work. You did this privately. You did this secretly. Um, I feel like you really kind of worked on, you know, really excavating some of the, you know, some of the trauma. You know, like you really worked on releasing. Um, because maybe in the past you could have repressed or suppressed a lot of the pain. Because uh, I was picking up someone like mute or not you know, someone suffering in silence or not really expressing uh, the pain that they felt. Maybe if um, the masculine I was just picking up on, maybe you've never shared that story with someone um, and spirit wants you to know that they see you, um, they love you, they're with you um, and you did not suffer alone. Like you're not suffering alone. You have the support. Ask for the support. Um, ask for that, you know, the power that you need. You didn't do anything wrong. You know, like don't blame yourself that's why that compassion card showed up as well because i feel like some of you even if this isn't um that masculine i was picking up on if there was a feminine that may have been violated or assaulted it was not your fault and a lot of times victims um even though i don't like that word in this scenario it is applicable um when someone violates you or assaults you sexually that is you are a victim you know um to their assault so it is not your fault by any means so do not blame yourself for someone's um for someone else's actions um this is definitely showing um there was a lot that you've hid from the world like you know you were hiding a lot from the world but you also um in that process like i said uh were you know really navigating through some tough times this seven and seven breaks down to 14 so you were navigating through those tough scenarios um privately but this was all a matter of divine timing because these are both sevens and so the moderation card that showed up earlier and i was speaking to the changes you had to make that's why um you did this privately you know um so as i said you disconnected from the outside world and focused on the healing that was required and this is how you were able to reach that level of self-love 
self-love, self-worth, and self-value regardless of, you know, your past or what you may have endured. And I just want to clap it up to you. Shout out to you. Big up to you. I salute you um, because you're powerful. You know, I, I, I really, really salute you for that. And there goes the door to value. So this is what you get when you do the work. Um, you always get rewarded when you do the work, you know, because spirit is the one that provides those rewards. Spirit is the one that opens up the doors to, you know, to personal healing and happiness or the door to value or the door to your success or your prosperity. So the fact that this door is opening up is saying that this is what you are attracting to you, who or what. And many of you, um, you had to heal from, you know, those mommy daddy issues, as I said earlier. And because you not only healed, but you also are more compassionate towards your mother or father, um, you know, because you realize that they did the best they could do with what they had, you're no longer faulting them um, because you realize that hurt people, hurt people, hurt people, hurt people. It's, it's a continuous thing until someone chooses to break the cycle and that's what you chose to do and that's why you're receiving this reward. This 31 four is just saying, as I said, um, you know, the love of self, you learning to love yourself, that heart chakra, healing that heart chakra and now opening it up again uh, to where you're no longer like afraid or, um, you know, resisting love. You're now open and receptive to receiving love because you've um, been able to show that compassion towards the ones that have hurt you. And that's the kind of healing. That's the type of growth. That's the type of leveling up that leads to um, stability, security, financial freedom. So divine spirit why is the 63 parenting here for who or what our beloved scorpios are attracting to them thank you spirit and there goes archangel uriel and that is your crown so what was i saying the entire time trusting your intuition that's the seventh chakra and i did mention that as i said with this number 61 7 you know i was saying that you reached that you know you you you've grown personally you went from the root chakra all the way to your crown and this is um, associated with that crown chakra the seventh chakra so you've done the necessary work which is why um, you are receiving rewards and victory it's like spirit is acknowledging your maturation um, the time you took as I said, to find your voice because I feel like a lot of you were voice uh, voiceless or a lot of you were really just kind of um, you know, just kind of staying silent to avoid, you know, any type of arguments or debating or, you know, any type of like thing. You didn't want things to just kind of explode. So you could have been very silent, um, but you were you were silently plotting your way out um, and you trusted your, you know, intuition and used discernment to do such um, to do this, uh, which led to, you know, you ultimately breaking that yoke, that hex, that curse. Um, we got mystical shake your ass. <laughs> Um, mystical so I do feel like there's something very mysterious about you which is why I do feel like there is you know a lot of energy that is you know very attracted to you because you are just someone very unique um, and you've come through a lot you know a lot of the 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 lessons you've had to learn aren't um, you know aren't easy so this just even makes you even more intriguing would shake your ass uh some of you you know could have discovered that someone was just they had some sort of sexual addictions or some sort of um afflictions of some sort maybe someone was addicted to going to the strip club and watching girls shake their ass and, and spending money they didn't have which led to you know some sort of um demise of a relationship if this is applicable but for whatever um you know this is i do feel like um with mystical, I feel like something is going to happen where where it's going to feel um, divinely ordained. There's going to be some air of like mystery even around a person, or maybe this is how they feel about you. The card that actually the cards that flew out, we got this this energy again. This came out in the form of reading. So happy family. So who are you attracting to you? And there goes another rainbow. We saw that on that door to personal healing and happiness. And now we see it on the happy family. So you do have stability coming in. Someone is coming in that's going to bring that stability. Or maybe you yourself are um, feeling more stable because you've now detached from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. And you're more um, focused on your emotional, um, <clears throat> your emotional, um, um, <clears throat> your emotional fulfillment. Um, 
as well as you know your stability so you have rebuilt you know it looks like you've rebuilt on a more solid foundation and you're reaping the rewards of that and whomever you're attracting if this is a person i feel like this person could see stability they could see themselves having that happy house happy spouse type of energy or happily ever after a building you know generation generational wealth or building and supporting one another like this is something this person can see um when they think of you or when they think of a union with you um and you know like i said i feel like they see you also as someone very mysterious um we have door to spirit so this is powerful as well this is another door so as i was saying you were spiritually strong and this is just confirmation of that because at 32 you could have been sitting at the feet of an elder a master teacher a healer shaman light worker and they may have um given you a rites of passage or maybe you were initiated to become you know your own healer because remember you have spiritual career here so this means like you were either ordained or you may have gone through a rites of passage or initiated um initiated into a, a particular school of thought so that's very powerful and we have right now Mona Lisa playing by Slick Rick so for some of you you are very attractive we're about to pull the card for how this person that you're attracting or who or what you're attracting to you feels about you and Mona Lisa is a very um, um, this this uh, art it's very expensive but it's also a very beautiful art um, Others see this painting and they think beauty. They think, um, you know, beauty is the first thing they think of it. Uh, so someone could really look at you and see beauty. Um, and there goes the world card. So there could be distance between you and this person. Um, someone could be also traveling towards you. But again, this just denotes the enormous change that you have been through, um, which this person has been paying close attention to. So I think they've been observing you. Um, and I do see this person also ultimately um, wanting to, you know, come towards you because this 29 breaks down to 11. Uh, the world card is typically the number 21, but this card breaks down to 11. So I do feel like this person is trying to decide, um, as I said earlier, the best course of action. So maybe they're just, you know, kind of trying to muster up the strength, courage and wise dome to take action with seven and six, 13. That's um the four and then this 29 that makes it six so this person does take action and this person also can see that happily ever after because the six is associated with the lovers so this is almost like the six um you know they're, they're still in this energy of love so there's no denying that someone has discovered that they love you and what was i saying the whole time about victory triumph and success so confirming this this is what's hidden so whatever you've been manifesting whatever intentions you've been setting whatever you've been asking for praying for whatever alchemical force you were tapping into whatever you've been co-creating with source whatever you've been utilizing water fire earth air ether to manifest to you beloved it's, it's coming there's a victory i was speaking victory and success the entire time and voila so the divine spirit why is this manifestation card here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpios let me get a thank you thank you thank you bottom of the deck there goes the devil the deceit card remember in the beginning of the reading i was picking up on you having a very competitive energy or an energy um, that is in secret competition i was even picking up this 15 um the devil energy as well um in this deck it's the seven and i was also speaking to seven of swords like someone lying to kick it or someone being deceitful and this is just confirmation so be mindful you know because this person is manipulating something in their hand so the devil is very manipulative he plots he plans you know strategizes you know things and that's why i feel like spirit was just it kept re-emphasizing trust your intuition use discernment move with you know you know don't move unless it feels right sits right in your spirit i kept picking up on those messages because why well you have a very deceitful energy that is around you and this person can throw you off balance so this angel of balance is helping you to restore balance so if you do engage with someone that, with that energy be very mindful so the card that we have for um to clarify eight manifestation is we have walking away this card also came out in the former reading so i do feel like you are manifesting some sort of new beginning or some sort of um fresh start so you are making the decision to walk away like i said from people places and things that no longer serve you uh because something that you've manifested has materialized in this physical reality and we can see that there is this like little um glow insect or um this little lightning bug whatever you want to call it 
that is like um, it's providing light it's providing clarity um, for you so there's some sort of epiphanous moment maybe that's just like a glimmer of hope because eight does deal like I said I always see that as a wish fulfillment um, energy so maybe just being optimistic you remaining optimistic I feel someone is trying to distract you or prevent you from leaving or walking away also because she's like looking back as if someone is calling her um, and this is what's hidden so just be mindful of that because the one that's calling you is the devil so this devil is at the bottom of the deck and this is a seven and so nine is the highest number of change so you are obviously ready to walk away from what's no longer serving you and this person could literally be just trying to dupe you by lying the seven that this is giving me like the seven deadly sins or even the seven of swords where you have someone that is a you know a thief so someone could either be trying to steal your ideas steal your energy um, because you're manifesting something so they could be kind of stealing something from you um, what we have playing right now is we have, <laughs> uh, so funny. We got Snoop Dogg, um, bitch, please. So I feel like you're going to see right through this person. Um, you, you're not here for it. You know, you, you, you <laughs> You are not with the ish. So with bitch, please, um, this is someone that is playing with the right one because you're going to let them know what type of time you're on. So that's very powerful. I'm glad that you won't let this person know what type of time. I feel like you're going to like hold up a mirror to this person also. So my spirit, why is the 78 uh, spiritual career, 48 financial discipline here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? I'm going to clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap up. I'm going to clarify with the actual tarot cards. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. And we have on the bottom of the deck, the Temple Path. So that is always, to me, like a marriage card. That 12, um, you know, that breaks down to 3. So I always feel like, you know, this is an opportunity for you to have someone court you. And, you know, there's just this beautiful connection that you are developing with someone. This good conversation, I feel, as well. Because 3s also, you know, um, denote, like, communicating. Um, we did see the 33 communication card, but that also speaks to that. I also feel like your angels are around you. Three is very heavily connected um, to, you know, the ascended masters. Uh, so it's a very auspicious number, um, to say the least. So we have patience. And remember what we was talking about with this number 14. Oh, this is 16 in this deck. So this is to me like the 16 that breaks down to seven again. Um, and there's a clock here. So this also just, you know, is very much um, reminding you that that things happen in divine timing. Um, I feel like good things take time to create. So if you are working on something, I feel your hard work will um, pay off. Spirit is just reminding you to be patient um, because everything is going to work out in your favor. So my, my computer, the battery is about to die. So I just want to go ahead and clarify these messages with the tarot cards. I'm going to use... Um, the uh, dark grimoire because that devil energy did, did show up and look at that we got justice on the bottom of the deck and remember i was picking up justice from the time when we started the reading at 6 32 so this justice card is saying you're getting your just due but if you look closely there's a voodoo doll here and there's someone sticking pins in it and remember at the bottom of the deck just now we had the devil so this is someone that could potentially be like you know um trying to manipulate your energy or trying to manipulate a situation um we have on the bottom of the deck the death so i mentioned the death card as well so there we have it so this is this is a time that's coming to an end i feel like your transformation like this person has been trying for the longest time to manipulate you or to to control you and i feel like that time has passed because you have transformed you're no longer presenting that same person that this this individual is used to perhaps you are leaving a situation whether it be a job if it's not a relationship you're just leaving the situation behind you're no longer dealing with that fugazi ass energy um so let's see what the cards have to say for god's spirit of peace by protection what's coming in going out going on for my beloved scorpio what is the overall energy for my beloved scorpio spirit get a message of peace power and protection what's coming in for my beloved scorpio spirit all right so we have one card that just flipped out and look what we have here what card is that i can't see oh that's the sun and remember, I mentioned the sun when I was talking about those yellow cards. So this is what you have. That's beautiful. So this is that epiphanous moment. So the sun and the moon came out as the overall energy. So when the sun and the moon are together, that's like an eclipse. So this was really about you cutting out the things that no longer serve you, clipping yourself. We had a solar eclipse um, in the earlier part of the year. So perhaps that's what you have been working on is just like cutting yourself free from those 
things that no longer serve you. But this is also saying that you are, you know, on the precipice of a new start, a fresh start. You know, remember we saw 1981 and I was just feeling like you had some sort of new beginning. So this is just confirming that. Um, this self-love that you have, that you're happier now because you're prioritizing you. And others are drawn to you because of this. I feel like there's exciting news. There's good news coming in. I feel like you're going to meet new people that's on your frequency. I feel like there's just an energy around you that um, really just just, you know, uh, people just want, they're like kind of flocking to you or there's just this magnetism. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have the hermit. And remember, I was picking up on the hermit with that song, The Monk. Um, so you definitely took some time. Um, this could either be speaking to you or the person you're attracting to you, uh, the person or the thing you're attracting to you. So through this time, um, away from, you know, all of the distractions of the outside world, you were able to go within, you know, to seek wise counsel with your higher self, uh, to take those internal self audits, to reexamine, reassess, um, you know, which potential direction you wanted to go. Uh, but this is, you know, the hermit is a wizard. He knows the answers he or she seeks are always found within so that's that that effort that you take to to grow and to heal so why is this 63 parenting um for um happy family 32 door to spirit here for who or what my beloved scorpios are attracting to them they get a message of peace power and protection spirit Ooh, okay all right there's a lot of messages um and we got the six of swords so taking action, you moved away. So I do feel there's distance because I was picking up on that. So I do feel like you established boundaries or distance or you moved away um, from murky waters or, you know, um, relationships that weren't serving you. I see a king of cups uh, that could also be... Um, you know, coming towards you because this is who or what you're attracting to you. This could also be your energy. You now in that uh, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Uh, the also we have the empress that showed up. Remember, I was expounding on the empress, um, and you see how these people are bowing down to her, um, and then you see these people like these big mouths kind of gossiping. So it's like, you know, there's definitely a lot of talk about you or perhaps they're watching you. Um, you're just very attractive or there is this magnetism, but this is someone who desires to come toward you or approach you. Um, we have the hermit here as well. So this person you have not heard from it in quite some time. Maybe the both of you have been in hermit mode as you've been healing thyself. And now there is this desire um, that someone wants to approach you. We also have the death card. So major change and transformation has occurred during this time apart. And then the justice came out. So there's going to be someone getting their just due. Maybe this is what someone wants. But I also am getting a sense of like even marriage because the empress is a wife. The empress is, um, she's just not, you know, she ain't out here single. So someone definitely sees you through the lens of like someone very regal, royal, attractive, beautiful, powerful, a leader, um, maternal, paternal. They see you as that. Um, energy of like divine feminine, divine masculine. And, and I feel like there's, you're going to get your just due. Um, if there were legal matters or things like that, I feel like everything is working out in its favor because the sun is shining. And that always means good news. Remember, we had happy ending. Then we had door to personal healing and happiness. And that's just confirming um, that uh, wonderful things are occurring. With this six of swords, someone has seen you as someone who has absolutely moved. Like you may have um, created like boundaries, as I said, or created like a safe space for yourself. Um, very protective of your energy nonetheless. Um, this is something that you may have transformed into because you now have self-love and you now um, realize your worth and value as an empress or as an emperor. So why is the 16 rebirth, 6 love, and the world card here? Uh, this person, our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. This card is literally like poking out and I'm going to take that as the message and we have hangman. So remember I was picking up the hangman earlier and this is what they're doing. They're seeing you through the lens of someone that they absolutely discovered they love because they see your transformation. They see that you've emerged someone completely new. Um, you have the knowledge of self, love of self because you've healed thyself and you've transformed and emerged as someone that they, you know, that they admire. Um, but this is also giving them the time to look at themselves as well. And you can see this: there's alcohol bottles, there's cigarettes. Someone could have been really struggling with addiction. Someone could also have some sort of strong addiction or attraction. Um, 
or obsession or possession of you um, if this is a person from the past because I was picking up like a past person as well but someone is definitely seeing you differently you know they got a whole different perspective on you um, we have right now uh, know these things so they feel like you should know these things and that could be the reason why I was picking up someone coming towards you to communicate we have the knave of wands so that's the knight of wands so there is potentially some exciting news coming your way which could be the reason why you're looking back because someone could be getting your attention like reaching out speaking to you this is something you could have possibly manifested or maybe they're manifesting you what's hidden so divine spirit why is this eight um, manifestation 27 walking away here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios and then we're going to wrap it up uh, spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is this eight manifestation walking away? 27 here for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit, thank you. We got Maxwell. Know these things. Someone's name could be Maxwell. Someone could be from Brooklyn. Someone could be um, Spanish and black. So we have on the bottom of the deck um, four of chalices. Someone feels like they've missed an opportunity. Someone's feeling bored. You know, someone feels like you should know how they feel about you because we got know these things, shouldn't you, playing. So maybe you've walked away from someone because you wasn't feeling appreciated or valued, honored or respected in a relationship. And someone is trying to catch your attention. Maybe someone is uh, penning you a letter or sending you a DM or sending you an email or perhaps texting you or calling you um, just to communicate these feelings. We have, um, the six of pentacles. So this is someone that definitely wants to make an offer. This is someone that's seeking security. Um, last message. Why is 78? My battery is about to die. Why is 78? Um, spiritual career, 48 financial discipline here. And we have the knight of swords. So there's some good news coming in, some unexpected news. I think you've been waiting a long time for this. You're not going to be um, expecting this when it does come it's going to be very exciting and this is absolutely something you've manifested because we have the magician here so whatever you've been manifesting is coming into fruition this is a beautiful reading because I just see that you've worked through some things and now you're being rewarded I also feel like you have a lot of people that are attracted to you that's trying to come into your into your you know your orbit and so you're going to have to make a decision but thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in until next time I send a big fat ashe yo peace